Well, today marks National Depression Screening Day, and new research is shining a light on the importance of diagnosing this mental health condition and how effective screening can help identify people considering suicide. It's one of the leading causes of death in the U.S. More people died from suicide last year than any other year on record, according to provisional data. One of the key aspects of uh, preventing suicide is being able to identify individuals who are most vulnerable to attempting suicide. That's why Craig Bryan and his colleagues at The Ohio State College of Medicine and Wesleyan University started studying patient screening methods at primary care clinics. The researchers believed traditional screening for suicidal thoughts would be the most effective at identifying which patients were most likely to attempt suicide. But that wasn't what they found. The key finding was that the most effective way um, to identify patients who would eventually attempt suicide was uh, to screen them for depression. The researchers found that screening for depression correctly identified more patients who would go on to attempt suicide than traditional suicide screening. Primary care healthcare providers should really be focusing on um, identifying patients who have depression, and then that might serve as a gateway for uh, determining who might need additional treatment and intervention to prevent suicide. Yeah, so the researchers hope to study screenings more in the future. The study involved military primary care clinics, but they'd like to include research on civilians and other healthcare settings to see if their findings are replicated. Remember, if you or someone you know is in crisis, you can pick up the phone and call the U.S. Suicide Prevention Hotline launched last year. That number, three numbers, 988. You can also call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at the number on your screen. That number is 800-273-8255.